Amelia, what is next for you? What's coming up? So a couple things. So one of the things is we are exploring the idea of making the way chapter two. Uh, we have a story. It's it is it is beaded out. It is for the most part written. Uh, it is the continuing journey of Tom. Uh, as you know, if you've seen the movie, he plays an ophthalmologist in, in the film. By the end of the movie, he is he's fully realized he's a citizen of the world. Part two picks up where he's working uh, for the NGO Doctors Without Borders in Nigeria, and he's performing cataract surgeries in a very remote village. And and so the supplies arrive in the village and part of this in, in and amongst the supplies is the mail. Uh, again, this is, a, like I said, a very remote village with no Internet. And in the mail is a book written by the Jack character. And in the book is some very disturbing information that, and uh, that Tom is inspired now to go find him, which again, uh, sort of inspires the next mission. So that is in the works. There is a potential for Young Guns 3. We've been obviously dropping the word young. And we are, <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, we're, we're, we've been talking about that. And again, that's been a bit of a copyright uh, uh, rights uh, nightmare, uh, but but I think we've we've finally got figured out a way to make that happen with the with, with whomever is still alive. And what I mean by that, the characters, not the actual actors. Uh, but uh, but there is a there's a strong um, there, obviously westerns are back in fashion, and and certainly this is a piece of IP that needs to be reexamined. And I, if you, I don't know how well you remember the part two, but I played a character named Brushy Bill Roberts, which who claimed in real life to be the actual Billy the Kid in 1950, and said that he was not killed by Pat Garrett in 1881. That he was that he went on to actually have a very Zelig or or Forrest Gump type life. He was. You know, he rode with Teddy Roosevelt with the Rough Riders and sat and was at the Battle of San Juan Hill. He was with uh, Pancho Villa in the Mexican Revolution and fought alongside him. There was uh, evidence that Arkansas Dave Rudabaugh was not killed, that he fought alongside uh, Billy in that uh, in that Mexican Revolution. So here's a guy that we can follow, not across just you know, one more movie, but actually there could be a part three, a part four, a part five, take him all the way to 1950.